Naomi Olusanya, do you take Rachel Amadi to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love her and to cherish her in sickness and in health till death do you part? I do. Rachel Amadi, do you take Naomi Olusanya to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love him and to uphold him, to cherish him all the days of your life, till death do you part. Yes, I do. By the powers vested upon me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. I love you. I love you more. Chairman now. Boss, I greet you. My name is Nabin over there. Call me Pepe Dengan. Hi, darling. <laughs> and what could that be? <laughs> A surprise. Okay, I'll be there soon. See you soon. Bye, love.
grass is greener. Come on, when I day beside her. Uh, pretty Nina, you don't turn me to see her. But the grass is greener. Come on, when I day beside her. So if you ask me, ask me, what's in the to me? I go tell you na love. Okay. Babe. Um, babe. <laughs> okay. Babe. Babe. Rachel. Ever since you came into my life. It was as if the Lord himself sent an angel to me. You came and everything changed. I don't know what I'll be without you. I, I do not want to go another day on this earth without you in my life. <laughs> I have to send you my heart. I love you so dearly. I want you to be my wife. I want you to be the mother of my children. Rachel, will you marry me? Yes, yes, I'll marry you. Guess what? Guess what? Come see. <laughs> Dream is just proposed to me. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we do. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for you to come over too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll call you back. <laughs> so excited. Bye, thank bye. You. I love you too. <laughs> oh my god, I'm engaged. <laughs> okay, okay. What is that now? What is that? Wow. Uh, babe. Babe.
Babe, can I talk to you for a minute, please? You can wait until after the game, please. I'm sorry, you can't wait. I really need your input on this. Go ahead, I can hear you. You can't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I've been meaning to ask. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer an intimate wedding or a big one? Babe, you know me. I'll take intimate any day, but um, it's fine. Whatever you want, it's fine. Good. Me too. I like intimate weddings. <laughs> <laughs> but my aunt, you know how extra she is. I am sure she will be a party to an intimate wedding at all. All <laughs> I know that for sure all her meeting people would like to come. <laughs> <laughs> and about the wedding dates, should you make it a lot sooner or later? Babe, you know I travel next week, yeah? So when I get back from my trip, you know, we'll pick a date. Since it's, it's fine, pick a date. That won't be a problem. Okay, but I said That's it foul now! Come on! Babe, I'm sorry. Really? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, it's it. Oh, whatever, it's fine. I need to go and change. I want to go to the church for the midweek service. No, I'm not surprised to see you and church services. One and same, you never miss them. <laughs> <laughs> Why will I miss them? I feel totally complete on bed. Really now? Mm-hmm. Are you trying to say that I don't complete you? That's not what I'm saying. You're not about to start competing with God, are you? No, no, no. Of course, you complete me. But God completes me. No, 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 no. What is that? Okay, at this point, I have. Wait, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What did you just say? Rachel! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> when are you going to finish with your final year exams? <laughs> I can imagine the joy. That's how every final year student feels. Yay! I know, right? I can't wait to. Oh, I'm getting married to the love of my life. <laughs> uh, well, he traveled, so he'll be back in a week. <laughs> You're not even serious. Um, well, um, uh, how is Auntie? When last did she visit? I can imagine that woman. <laughs> Are you telling me? <laughs> I told her about my engagement. She was so excited. She said the amount of Ashibi she would get or sell that day and God. <laughs> I know, which is why I. Yes, everything is fine. I just, I just felt a little dizzy all of a sudden. No, but I, th I think I'm just stressed. I've been making a lot of clothes for my customers these days. <sighs> I 
it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll stop stressing myself. Thank you. <laughs> what? <laughs> See, you don't kill me. Pregnant. Like, you don't know that Davy and I are, you know, doing this no sex thing until marriage. <laughs> Coping. Calm see. What do you mean by that? Are you not doing the same with your boyfriend? Yes, I am. It's not <laughs> this conversation is not over.
Hello, Ma. I'm so sorry, Ma. I've been ill for some days now. Yes, Ma. Uh, hopefully, Ma, soon I'll get I'll get better soon. Hello, babe. I was. Until yesterday, I started feeling bad again. And I've been coughing a lot, too. Hospital? Sure. I'll go tomorrow. <laughs> so, when are you coming back? Why? But you've been there for almost two weeks now. <laughs> so, 
So, doctor, what is wrong with me? Richard, I'm so sorry for what I have to say. What? You have chronic myeloid leukemia. What is that? Cancer. Cancer of the blood. It's in stage four. You need to start treatment as soon as possible. It's in stage four. You need to start treatment as soon as possible. Rachel. Rachel. I'm sorry, what did you say? You have cancer. And you need to start treatment. Enough. Please stop saying. Stop saying that. I don't have cancer. Cancer cannot survive in my body. You know why? Because I am filled with the Holy Spirit. I serve a living God. And only Him has the final say. Not this test result. I can't have cancer. Richard, I understand how you feel. But please, you need to start chemotherapy as soon as I possible. I reject chemotherapy. I reject cancer. It is not my portion. I don't have cancer. Look, you need to start chemotherapy just so you can it's improve not your chances. My portion. I don't have cancer. You are a liar. You are this test result. I don't believe you. I don't have cancer. Rachel. You need to start treatment now. I shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in my life. I will not die. I don't have cancer. I cry, oh Lord, and take away this heavy burden from me. Give me total healing and save my soul from destruction. Please, save me, Lord. I don't want to die. Heal me. Take away this sickness that has come to consume my soul. I don't want to die young, but please. I invite you, Lord, into my life. Forgive me my sins and make me whole again. I don't deserve this sickness, Lord. And I believe that a miracle can come from you. You're all that I have. You're my heavenly father, my protector. The king of kings. The Lord that I serve that never fails. Hear my cry, oh Lord. Take away this sickness from me. Give me total healing. It is you who make the blind to see. It is in you who made the crippled to walk and the dead to wake. My case will not be different. Oh, I believe in your miracle. I believe in your total healing. I pray for healing, my God. Please don't take me away. Please don't take my life away. I beg you, Lord, please. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
your heart, my daughter. <laughs> Whatever the situation is, it is not bigger than the God we serve. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Sister Richard, what troubles your heart? Pastor, the doctor said I have leukemia. And it, it's in its stage four. If I don't start treatment immediately, I will die, Pastor. No, 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 no. I no, don't no. want to die. No, no, no. See, you are not going to die. <laughs> you will not die. You see, the Bible says, they that put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. And whose report are we going to believe here? The doctor's report or the report of the Lord? I can assure you that the mighty hand of the Lord will heal you. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from every sin and infirmities. You will not die, my dear. I need your faith to be strong in the Lord. Let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your daughter right now. I pray for her healing in the name of Jesus. Every cancer of the blood I wash you out by the blood of the Lord, the blood of Jesus, that speak better things than the blood of Ram and Booz. Let that blood heal your infirmities in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you in the name of Jesus. You are healed by the mighty hand of the Lord. We don't believe the doctor's report. We believe in the report of the Lord. And that report says you are made whole. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to be strong. You are going to be fine.
please, please. Don't take me away from my sister. She, she won't be able to take this. God, please. For my, not for my sake, but for, for Kamsi's sake, God. I'm all she's got. I'm all she has. God. This is too much. This is so much. <laughs> my aid, you're the only one I call. You're the only one I have. You're my mom. You're my dad. You're all that I have. So I invite you into my life right now and I say you take away this heavy body that has come to consume me, that has come to test me, Lord. You've done this before. You will do it again. I pray for miracle. I pray for total healing. I pray for forgiveness. I pray for you to come and set me free, Lord Jesus. Father Lord, it's say whatever we ask in faith that you will give. Your daughter is here and I am asking you to please take away this sickness. Take away this sickness from me. This demonic sickness, Lord. I know that this is only for a test. And I will overcome. I will not die. I am a child of God. And I know that you can do it, Lord Jesus. With you by my side, I will overcome this temptation. Jesus. Please. Hear my prayer. Hear my prayer, Lord. Hear my prayer, Lord. Hear my prayer, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. In the Cancer of the blood. What? So she didn't tell you? No, she didn't. I, I, I have no idea. Well, the day I told her, she was completely devastated. And she refused to accept her condition. She stormed out of my office. But the problem is, she needs to start treatment immediately. The cancer is in stage four and it has spread around her body. Okay, um, will she, will she be okay? Will she get better? Truth is, she's not doing well at all. Like I said, the cancer has spread round her body, which makes it a bit hard for her. How long does she have, Doctor? From the scan, 
I would say two months, might be three. It might even be more, depending on the way her body responds to the treatment. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. You need to come right away. Your sister needs you. Okay. To get back. Why am I here? Calm down. Last I remembered, I was in my apartment. Okay. How did I get here? Babe, calm down, okay? It's okay. I, I, I found you passed out on the floor, so I had to rush you down here. Hey, why didn't you tell me? Tell you what is that? that I have cancer and I will die soon. Oh, it doesn't matter. You should have still told me anyways. I don't want you to be with me out of pity. Okay? You don't deserve to be with a sick woman like me. Can, can, can you stop? Just, just go there, Nick. Leave me in my struggle. Stop! Just go and live your life. Stop! Please. Stop! Stop talking nonsense. If you didn't want to tell me, at least tell someone in your family. You know, people who love you or you trust that they love you. We all care about you and we want to be there for you. I don't want your pity. I don't. And what makes you think I pity you? I'm with you for pity or I will be with you for, for pity. Cool. Don't you get it? I'm dying. I'm dying, baby. No. I will die soon. No, you are not going to die. Stop it. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> you know, for someone who's so close to God, who's so conversant with the scriptures, right now you're displaying such little faith.
So how are you feeling? I don't even know. I understand. But we have to start chemotherapy immediately. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. How are you feeling, Rachel? I'm fine. Shouldn't you be getting ready for your final year exam? Why are you here? How do you expect me to concentrate on my exams when you're here in so much pain? I can't see. Your studies is what is most important. No, you're what is most important. Yes, you are more important. And by God's grace, you will get better. You know, go. Babe. Oh. Now that your aunt and sister are here, I'd like to get on fresh and up. It's okay. It's fine. Just go home. It's been years since. You need to get some rest. <laughs> Lie in your comfortable bed for once, okay? Don't worry about me. Come see and Aunt Amaka will take care of me, okay? It's my son. Just go home and rest. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're here. Don't worry, don't go home. Right, um, I'll make sure I come back as soon as I can. Okay. okay. Thank you. He's truly amazing. Yes, he is. But it's so sad that I will not end up being his wife because I'll die soon. But you, you will not die. You will not die, Rachel. God will surely prevail. <laughs> Rachel, have you forgotten what I told you? Hmm? I want six grandchildren from you. <laughs> you will not die, my love. Huh? You won't die. Just have faith. God will heal you. Amen. She needs to start treatment immediately. The cancer is in stage four and it has spread around her body. Please. Father, not her. Not her, please. She doesn't deserve it. She doesn't. She's such a good person. Oh, please. Please, I beg you.
thing is, I just, I just put it into practice, you know, believing that everything is going to work out for good. I had strong faith. And look, I got the contract. So I implore you to do the same, because if you believe, you of all people, you know this. If you believe, if you put your mind to it, and you believe, God, it's going to do it. You will be made whole. Thank you. Oh gosh, you look beautiful. You're just saying that. No. Yes. No. You are the best thing that has happened to me all my life. You need to stop. Babe, babe, stop. Please, stop. Stop. Relax. 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 Look at me. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. It's calm down. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Calm down. How is she? She's fine. Are you sure? Don't worry, ma'am. She's fine. If you notice anything unusual or she feels bad in any way, just send for me, okay? Thank you. Can I feed her now? Yeah, sure you can. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, nurse. So you eat something, eh? I'm not hungry. Oh, Joe, please eat something. Eat for us, please. Please. <coughs> Sorry. Please. Please. Hmm? Okay, just small. <coughs> Sorry. 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 
Sorry. Jesus. Go and get the nurse. Go and get the nurse. Sorry. So is it? No, there's nothing. There's nothing. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, my child. Don't worry. Don't worry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. A miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. He's the Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. He's a miracle walking God. He's the miracle walking God. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's a miracle walking God. Hallelujah. He's the miracle walking God. He's the miracle walking God. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the miracle walking God. Father, we thank you today for your daughter. We lift her life into your hands. We pray for your healing over her life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we release your healing hand to come upon her life. We pray let a miracle take place in her life today. Every sickness, infirmity of sickness, we cast you out in the name of Jesus. We pray for you by the mighty hand of the Lord. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. We cast out every sickness out of your body. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. We pray that the healing hand of the Lord come upon you in the name of Jesus. We release her body from every infirmity of Satan. Every finger of sickness upon her life. Lord, we cast it out in the name of Jesus. We pray for your divine healing to be made manifest in her life in the name of Jesus. We pray for the miracle working God. Let there be a miracle of healing in her life in the name of Jesus. We give you praise and thanks, Father, for this healing is made manifest. It is made permanent in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. We pray for your healing. Oh, Kalabo Shitalada, Manda Libro Hodos Kalibra Hadayada, Le Kababa Leboro Toloto, In da 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 da. Yes, Lord, we thank you for your healing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of. of grace the Lord is with thee blessed are thou among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus holy Mary mother of God pray for all sinners now and the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed are thou among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus holy Mary mother of God pray for all sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. She would really love this. Look, I know she will. But it's her health I am more concerned about. I, I know, I am most concerned about her health too. But please, I, I will make sure nothing goes wrong. Truth is, the authorities, they won't be happy about this. Please. But if you say you'll be careful, then I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. Thank you. But please, I beg you, you have to be very careful with her. I will be. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Where are we going to? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise now, would it? Come on, let's go. So we can get back early. Hmm? Okay. You guys should have fun. I know what 
she wants to say. But don't let us feel sad. Let's do everything in our power to make sure that she's happy. Okay. It's <laughs> my child. <laughs> oh, baby, you, you still haven't told me where we are going to. Like I said earlier, it's a surprise. And it's a surprise you're going to love. Okay. That's our song. Yes, it is. Please increase the volume. Please. Now, where we first met. Hi. I I couldn't help but notice your mood. Sorry to invade your privacy, but are you okay? May I? Look, no matter what the problem is, God will surely prevail. There is nothing too big or too small for him to do. You just have to believe and everything will be all right. God. God, God, God. Where was God? When my mother saw him. I was he when the disease took her. Can God bring her back? I'm so sorry for your loss. I don't want your sorry, okay? <laughs> don't want your sorry. Tell God to bring my mother back. Listen. Everything happens for a reason. I believe so too. I also have lost, I've lost special people in my life. My parents, they died when I was at a very young age. But I never lost hope. I never gave up on God. I don't think you should.
No, wait, wait. No more. Can you give me um, if you don't mind telling your parents what happened? Um, they died in a plane crash when I was 15 and my sister was just 10. I am so sorry. It's fine. It's in the past now. So what happened to your mom? <sighs> My mom, she... she suffered a lot. She was ill. Really. Really ill. And... It was painful and what makes it even worse is she she suffered so much for me. So much. The man I am today is because of her. It's really, really sad. She's not here to fail you know, to benefit from what I've become. I'm truly sorry for your loss. Sorry, no. It's okay. Um, do you mind praying with me just for a minute? I believe it will make you feel better. Thank you, Jesus, for this soul. You know, meeting you is the best thing that ever happened to me. When you came into my life that day, I missed the storm. Calmed things down and gave me a shoulder to cry on, even without knowing me. God surely ordained that meeting. Yeah, he did. He sure did. And you're the love of my life. <laughs> and you're the man of my dreams. <laughs> I wish all our problems would go away. I wish you would be healed so we can grow old together. If wishes were horses, beggars will ride. <laughs> I still believe a miracle can happen, though. Me too. You're beautiful. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> we need to hurry. I need to get you back to the hospital. Come on, what's going on? Come on, we have to go. Get up. Come on. Get up. Easy, easy. You had a good time? Babe, you need to wake up. We're almost at the hospital. 
Rachel. Rachel. Babe. Babe. Rachel. 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 Rachel, please don't do this. Rachel, please wake up. Rachel. Rachel. Rachel! She's going to be fine. What happened to her? Honestly, I really don't know. We were done heading back and all of a sudden she she just passed out. She was just sitting there lifeless. I warned you. I told you this was going to happen. I know, I know. I'm oh no, please you can't do that right now. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for all this, but is she going to be okay? She's not doing fine. She's in a coma. What? She's in what? A, a coma? Yeah, she is. No, no, which, surely something to, can be done. For how long is she going to be like that? What? It's a day. If you believe in miracles, then I would suggest that you start praying. Because. We are done. We've done all our best. We've exhausted our options. So just try, yeah? Please get up. Okay? This is not happening. I told you guys this would happen. That's good. Dear me, please see me in my office. Ah. Mm -hmm. See, see me in my office. <laughs> no, with you. You need to fight this. You need to fight this. You cannot die. No, I don't understand. Doctor, what's wrong? Rachel is not doing fine at all. She's not responding to treatment at all. No, doctor, you cannot say that. That's, that's not true. That's I'm not sorry. true. I'm sorry. What are you saying sorry for? From everything, she, she doesn't have much time left. Sorry. Stop saying sorry. Stop it. Do something. We've exhausted everything. We've done everything. All our best. We've exhausted the options. Doctor, please do more. It is your job to save lives. Do more. Help Rachel. I'm sorry.
Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, well. Into mistakes here and there, but I'll give it to you still. <laughs> Wait, show me. <laughs> show me. You did great. I know you do like this. Come on, come on. <laughs> but that was easy, though. Come on, that's like okay. okay let's see. Let's get you the same. No, no, no. Let's, let's okay, get you so. Okay, let's get you some. 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 No, no, no. We're not going to go to Genesis. Oh, where? I just pick, I'll just pick a random book. Let's do that. Match you. No, you don't get to do the pick. Okay. All right, so. Uh, we're going to do um... Father, I beg you. Please do not take her away from me. She is the one meaningful thing I have left with this world. Make you with everything. Please don't take her away from me. Please. Tell me, <clears throat> how do I look? You look beautiful. I mean, the dress suits you so well. Thank you. <laughs> Kudos to the best designer that I know. Okay, stop whining me. Thank you. Eh? Whine you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when I wear this in the evening, everybody will just be looking at me. That's why you should make me a new one. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. What did you just say? Come see. Did you know I left my customer's clothes just to make this one for you? Now you want another free dress. It's not possible. It's not happening. Please. Okay. Here we go. Again. Here we go. Please. What is this now? Please. Fine. Okay. I'll, I'll, make, I'll make it for you. Thank you. That's why you're the best sister in the world. <laughs> oh, I love you. Mm. All this because I agreed to make another dress for you, right? You know what? Hmm. I saw this smart style in my phone. Let me go to your Hey, 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 hey. Please make sure that it is not a hard. It's not hard, do I trust you? Make it's sure not it's not you. a hard style. No, because I don't have time for your complicated my style. Phone. I love you. Ah, come see you.
Hello? She's awake? All right, all right, I'll be there. I'll be on my way. Did you just see that I've been sleeping for a week now? How? This doesn't make sense to me. I'm in so much pain. But you know what? I choose not to cry. No. I will not spend my last days in tears. No, I won't do that. As this to be happy. You know why? Because I got a chance to leave. I got a chance to leave. Life is not measured by how many years you've lived, but by the impact that you're able to create in people's life, especially the ones that you love. I don't want to be here. No. I want to go home, Amy. I don't want to be here connected to this, this dream. I'm taking endless treatments that are not even working or making me feel better. No. I want to go home to my bed. <laughs> I miss my home. Gotcha. No. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Just be happy for me. Don't cry. Don't cry for me. I mean, I want to be able to spend my last days with the people that I love and cherish so much. Be happy for me because I have the amazing family ever. My sister can see it's a blessing from God. And my auntie, my forever bubbling and cheerful aunt. <laughs> and you, the love of my life. I got the chance to love, to experience true love. <laughs> so, don't make me die here. Please, please. Don't cry. Just, just be happy. Be happy because I lived a good life. <laughs> I'm just happy that you are awake. <laughs> Dear me, it has always been my dream to walk down the aisle with the man of my dreams, with the love of my life, which is you. I love you so much. I love you. Love you too. And I want to be your wife, please. If marrying you is the last thing I will do before I die, please let me have that experience. Grant me that one wish. Please, please take me home. I don't want to stay here. I don't want to die here. I don't want to die here. I don't, I don't want to die here. <laughs> I <laughs> Take me home,
Thank you. I would love to stay with you, but I have to go home. I've got some work to do. It's okay. It's okay. Until I can come see her here to take care of me. Just go home, freshen up, get some work done, and most importantly, please get some rest, okay? Not sure. Soon, okay. okay. Thank you. He is. All right. I'll have to leave you now. You need some rest, okay? Okay. Um, I'll come see. Yeah. We have a lot to do from tomorrow. Yes, I know. But you have to rest. Okay. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you need help? No, no, oh, come on, I'm not invalid. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, about the wedding preparations, I got two homes, one in Central Area and another in Busi. Both of them are beautiful, very spacious. And the cake, I got that sorted out. Thank you so much. You were so helpful. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. So, this is happening. Yes. We're getting married. <laughs> Finally. To the love of my life. Yes. <laughs> Your wedding dress. What about it? You've not gotten it. <sighs> That's because I wanted to surprise you. I have gotten my wedding dress. How? So you bought your wedding dress without telling me? <laughs> your only sister. Calm down. Who said anything about me buying it? I actually made it myself. <laughs> Yes, I made my own wedding dress. Really? Okay, so you have to show me. Can't wait to see it. Okay. <sighs> wow. This is beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so you need to try this on so I'll see how it looks like on you. Wait, now? Yes. Well, I'm supposed to wait. <laughs> By the power vested on me as Kamsi, I order you to put this on. Are you being serious right now? Yes. Now? Now. Get up. Fine, fine, fine. I'll wait. You did blow my mind. Hello? Is that XYZ transportation? Ogini, Ogini kill you there. What rubbish? I paid for three buses. And at the end of the day, you guys just gave me just one bus and one small bus for my guests. You know me and you know me very well. Amaka, I do not do small. Sorry. Sorry for yourself. 
Anyway, it's over. After this transaction, I am done with your company. Okay, I'll, at the end of the day, I'll get a refund. I will get a refund. What rubbish? Huh? Rubbish. So, are you done? Yes, ma'am. I hope you did a good job. Very well, ma'am. You know me, Amaka. I don't do small. Yes, All my guests should look glamorous. They are, ma'am. I stand for glamour. Yes, ma'am. I have your details. I know what to do. Is everybody ready? You look like an angel. <laughs> Thank you. I can imagine you walk down the aisle in this. You really look beautiful. Really? Mm -hmm. Just like a goddess. <laughs> Stop it. Me, a goddess. You're not serious. It's been long I saw you look like this. You look beautiful. You look beautiful when you smile. <laughs> Thank you. This is how I want my last day on earth to be like. No sadness. No tears. Just laughter and happiness. Hey. Oh. Come see. Come on, I just said no tears. Yeah. No tears. Just, please, just, just be happy for me, okay? Okay. Uh, look at you. You look beautiful. You look gorgeous. <laughs> look at you. And you too. You look beautiful. Thank you. Come, my girls. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see the uni at the altar. <sighs> and you know what? Dayemi can't wait to take his beautiful bride home. Yes. The most beautiful bride. Thank you, Nancy. So proud of you. Okay, it's running late. So let me go and check downstairs if the driver is around. Okay. But keep blowing for me. <sighs> keep blowing, my darling. Dayemi Olusanya, do you take Richard Amadi to be your lawfully wedded wife? To love and to cherish her in sickness and in health until death do you part? I do. <laughs> Sister Richard Amadi, do you take Dayemi Olusanya, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love him and to cherish him all the days of your life, until death do you part. I do. We may not have exchange of the ring, which is the symbol of our love for one another. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Shall we have yours as well? Which is a symbol of the love and a vow today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Perfect. By the powers bestowed upon me, I now pronounce you a husband and wife. And you may now kiss your bride.
I love you. I love you more. No. I love you even more. Always remember. We are here today to bid farewell to our dear sister, Richard Amadi. She was a devoted Christian, a lover of God, a true friend, a true believer of Christ, a wife until the hour of her demise. There is no doubt she will be missed by everyone who came across her, but we pray to our dear almighty Lord and Savior to grant her soul a place at the right hand of God. May her gentle soul find rest in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen, Kamsi, everything I do, I do for you. You know that already. So I need you to concentrate, study, so you come out top of your class. Make me proud. Not just me. Make our parents proud. I wish they were here to see what a beautiful, young woman you've become. And I believe that you're not going to disappoint us. I promise. I'll make you proud. And I'll graduate with the first class. That's it. Okay. I'll miss you. strong. The Almighty God will give you grace. Be strong.
Thank you so much. We all know you loved her with all your heart. And you showed us that true love really exists and it knows no bounds. Thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you. May God bless you. So, take care of yourself, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. All right, bye-bye. She loved you with all her heart. I loved her even more. She adored you, you know. Uh, she asked me to give this to you. When did she give you this? The day before the wedding. The day you brought her to my apartment. And um, you really didn't have to come over. If you wanted to see me, you just told me I'd, uh, I'd come over myself uh, instead of stressing, stressing her. I'll take my leave. Now. So soon? You don't want me to offer you anything? No, don't worry. I already it's before coming. Okay, all right then. Yeah, um, Rachel. When you're ready, just call me so I'll come pick you, okay? Thank you. Alright, bye. Okay. So important that you need to see me. Yeah. There's something I want you to do for me. Okay, what is it? Something very important. Take. It's a letter. I want you to give this to come see you when I'm gone. Please. Preferably at my funeral. Please, pay me. Please. This is very important to me. I want to I want to be sure that you can give this to come see. Promise me you're going to do it, Amy. I really, really need you to promise me. Amy. Please. There's something else I want you to do for me. What is it?
I... I think she knew her time was up. Yeah. I think she knew too. Because she gave me a letter to give you as well. She instructed I give you this. Thank you. Thank you for taking very good care of me. And Samaka and I will be living here to our Sabah. Because everything here reminds us of her. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care of you, okay? Dear Kamsi, the best sister in the whole world. I know by the time you are reading this, I am no more. Hopefully in heaven with mom and dad. I know my death wouldn't be easy for you. But Kamsi, I know you to be a strong woman. I know you would pull through. I may be gone, but I would never ever leave you. I will always be with you. You know, you now have three angels watching over you. You're so lucky. I want you to never give up on your dreams. You are built for success. You make me proud. And the most important thing is, don't give up on God. I love you, Kamsi. It's okay. It's okay. Eh? Uzungu, Uzungu, Uzungu. Who are we to question God? Eh? We cannot question God. It's okay. I need you to be strong for me. Please. It's okay. Good. Dear Demi, the love of my life, you made love look and feel so easy. I loved how patient you were and how loving and caring you were also. You never let go of my hand, even when you could have. You even married a sick woman like me. Words can't express how I love you. You were my one true love. 
I want you to do me a big favor. Please, don't give up on life. Knowing you, I know you would shut everyone out and grieve alone. Please don't. I want you to move on. Move on with your life. Okay? Live it and enjoy it. Enjoy it because you only live once. And I've lived mine. So, live yours, babe. In that light, I want you to be open to finding love again because it is the most beautiful feeling one can ever have. I love you now and always. I'll be watching over you from here. And never give up on God because you need him. You need him now more than ever. Your faith should be stronger as ever. Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> I miss you. Until we meet again. Bye. It's been two years since you left us. This past two years has been difficult, but I thank God for everything. God healed me. I've been close to him like never before. <laughs> I graduated with a fourth class. I just finished my youth service. Youth service was fun. And Yamaka found love. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm sure you're surprised. I'm very happy for her. She misses you so much. I found love too. Though it's still in its early stages. But something tells me that he's the one. I've not heard from DME. I don't know where it is. I miss you so much. I miss you every day. Hey, Kelsey. Wow. So you still come here? Yes, I do. <laughs> I was just talking about you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look good. Thank you. Yes, you do too. Thanks. Um, congratulations on your graduation. Yeah. Thank you. I'm really sorry I would have congratulated you earlier. But at the time when I saw the post, I... I've not really moved on. It's okay. I understand. Um, so you still come here? Yes, I do. And today, a birthday, I decided to come get some flowers. Okay. All right, let me leave you so that you can have your moment. You still use that your line, right? Yes, I do. Okay. So maybe we could meet one of these days and um, you tell me how it's been. I would love that. Okay. Bye-bye. Well, I'm sure you're celebrating in heaven, of course. <laughs> uh, 
last two years has been pretty tough, but um, I pulled through. Especially because I felt your presence around me, helping me. I finally quit my job, started my own business. It was tough at first, but I landed a huge contract that took me out of town for a minute. Things have been good, really good. Plus, I have something to tell you. I'm sure you already know this, <laughs> but yeah, I found someone. He's kind. I wanted you to know that. 